you another sample problem using the time value of money and the financial calculator. See how this feels. I have a person who's 25 years old who realistically expects he's going to have to work until he's 70 to retire. And given longer life expectancies, he, figure he's, he figures he's going to live until he's 90, okay? So he's going to die at age 90. And his goal, among others, is that from the time he retires until the time he dies, at least statistically, actuarially, 20 years, over that retirement period, he wants $3,000 a month in income from his investments. The question is, if he starts today earning 5% on his investments, how much money per month does he need to be saving from now till age 70 so that he'll have a nest egg built that he can draw from over his golden years, his retirement years. All right? Let's see how this works. It's a two-part calculation. First, we have to calculate how much money he's going to need when he gets to be 70 so he can pull out 3000 a month for, what, 20 years. So what does he need when he's age 70? Once we figure that out, then we'll figure out what does he need to save starting today to build up to that amount. So we kind of work backwards in a sense. So let's do the first calculation. At age 70, he's going to need 20 years, so his N is going to be 20 years, but he wants to draw this money out monthly, so we're going to say 12 times a year. So his N is going to be 240. His interest rate, whatever money he has in the bank at age 70, continues to draw 5% as he pulls a little of it out each month, 3000 so his interest rate is still going to be a monthly rate of 5 divided by 12. What he has to have at that time is what we're after, but it's got to be able to afford him or offer him a payment of $3,000 per month. So what we want to calculate first is the, excuse me, the present value that he needs to have in the bank at age 70 in order to pull this money out. So, let's do this quick calculation, okay? Are you getting sick of clearing those memory registers yet? That's good. Just don't forget. I got 244 N, 5 divided by 12 equals IY. I got $3,000. I'll make that a negative for the payment. Calculate or compute present value. He's going to need $454,575.94 at age 70. And if he pulls $3,000 every month out of this amount, every month for 20 years, and remember, the money he doesn't pull out is still building interest. Then at the end of 20 years, he will exhaust this amount. He will have drawn all his money out of the bank. Okay? So this now, the present value of what he needs at age 70, this now becomes the future value of what he wants to build towards today at age 25. Okay, so let's take this stuff out. What's going to be his N, I, Y, and payment? Well, we know the future value. We know the interest rate is still going to be 5% annually, but we're doing this on a monthly basis. And what about N? How much time is he going to have to build up this nest egg? From 25 to 70 is what? 45 years. So, 45 years, make, making payments 12 times a year. I just exceeded my high school math. Right? He's got 540 months over which to build up to this nest egg. How much per month, that's what we're going to calculate now, how much per month does he need to contribute to his retirement plan to make this happen given these assumptions? Okay? So let's see what we got here. Clear the registers. 
I got a four five four five seven five ninety four for what? That's my future value. That's what he's building towards. We got five divided by twelve is still his interest rate, and he's got five hundred and forty ends or payment periods to accumulate that money. How much does he need need to pay every month? What do you think? Pretty high number. I came up with $224.32 per month. $224 a month to have almost a half a million dollars when he retires. Does that seem reasonable? It is. $224 a month. Just for grins, how much money is that? $224 per month for 540 months, he's going to contribute, let's do this, 540 payments of 224, he's going to contribute $120,960 out of pocket. Out of his own pocket, he's going to put in $120,000, and as a result, He's going to have 450000 plus to draw from. That's the power of compound interest. That's the power of the self-discipline to make those payments regular and early. That's your future. Or not. Your call.